Hey guys, what is up? Oliver BC here. Welcome back to the Quick Guide to FIFA 22. This is episode number two, of course, and you guys can see on the screen that we did sell my first player, and it was Andreas Iniesta, followed up by selling the Martin Odegaard there. And I realized that minimum value of non-rare gold are now 600, so most of them aren't even sellable. So I decided to quick sell them all, because even though they could go up a little bit in value in a few weeks, I'd rather have 10k from quick selling them all now and invest that than just having them in my club sitting there for a while. So that is what I did. By selling all those players I was never going to use, I managed to get 10k to spend on Anjaldu Maria. I was actually just checking his price because Soren Footbin is about 9.5k, 10k and there was one off 8.6 with the cheapest up by k and it's been used. I assumed it was fresh. This thing is a monster. Can you, even, you buy it, you, you pack a card, you play four games with it, you get 39 goals, 19 assists and you're like, no, nah, this isn't for me. What? <laughs> I decided to sell my Verratti. I wasn't actually going to sell him. I was excited to use him, try him out, but uh, and because I know 87 is going to go up, but I realized I may as well buy an 87 that is more usable better um, because that's got a slightly better chance to go up if SBCs don't come out that require, which obviously they will. Um, but yeah, I actually sold my variety for more than I bought the Dean Maria for, so that's awesome. Also sold my Sufol and my Mbolo. I don't think a Wobi's going to sell. I thought I may as well try to sell it a couple of times. And if I'm urgent for coins, I can just quick sell them at 270. So we'll clear that. And now we have 12.6k to build a team around my star signing and my amazing pack pool PSG boys. I couldn't quite afford the team that I planned, so I also sold my Muslera for two and a half thousand. I found out my goalkeeper was 5'11", so I bought Alex Romero for 850 coins. My next big signing after Di Maria was Ricardo Pereira, bought him for 9,400, so he's the most expensive card that I have bought now. In centre-back, this isn't only an investment in my team, but also an investment just in the player himself. Kanata, he's already confirmed to get a one to watch, so he should only go up from 2,700. Plus, he's obviously just a, a very good card, he's kind of like a baby Van Dyke. And then finally, to inject some pace into the team, I bought Simon or Simon for 950 coins. And that is the team. Obviously, it doesn't have 100 chem because Simon or Simon is out of uh, position because he's a left middle. So hopefully, I have a left middle to left wing. It's very unlikely that I do. I've got one position change. Oh. On the bench, we just have players I got from the starter packs who I decided were better than what their actual value is, so I decided to keep for now, including this two-fan guy who looks like an absolute beast, uh, hidden gem. He's only worth the minimum of 650 coins, so uh, yeah, that's a nice little find there. And then obviously we have a Villa on the bench we packed at the end of last episode. In-game, I'm actually going to immediately switch to a 4 one 2 one 2 and move Di Maria to Cam, Simon, and Terrier up front, and the rest is pretty much everyone just in their actual positions. And I'll set Genie as our captain. There are the kit numbers. Decided to make Genie 8 since Kanate is 5. And now that we've got our squad figured out, let's get into the very first game. And that game is going to be in Division Rivals. Uh, Rivals is a competitive online mode that win matches to improve your ranks. That's the same as last year so far. Sounding, climb the ranks to earn promotion in high divisions. Earn rewards each week based on your ranks. That all sounds the same, but I believe there's no placement matches anymore. Everyone just starts in Division 10 like it used to be. Alright, game number one. What does my opponent have? He's got Variety on oh man. If Variety destroys us, how sad is that going to be? We should definitely win this game. <laughs> I think this is one of the best starter teams I've ever had to go into my very first game. Hopefully my man just quit when he saw my team, not this game's completely broken. Attempt number two. What does my actual first opponent have? Okay, this guy shouldn't quit. He's got Holland up front. That's obviously going to be a massive issue. He's got Open Meccano? Oh, Coleman! Oh my goodness. This isn't just my first game of Ultimate Team, by the way. This is my first game of FIFA 22, so I've got no idea how to play it. I think Simons just won this back. And Simons continued his run! What a play by Simons has been! That has to be a red card. Literally has to be. Last FIFA it wouldn't have been. Have they fixed it? Alright, Dean Marie is obviously on the free kicks. I'm just going to completely assume that free kicks are the same as last FIFA. I haven't aimed that well. That's going straight to Coleman's head. Ooh, it actually was on target. What a ball! What a touch by Simon! Please tell me someone's going to top of the box. It's Di Maria! A big signing! Di Maria gets the first goal on FIFA 22. Simon's really impressing me so far. Oh, Ricardo. I want, didn't want to take a touch there. I wanted him to pass that first time. Got to win this tackle. Ricardo Pereira is really, really not impressing me. Oh, how has that been dominating and he scores from his first real chance? I don't even know how that got to Coleman then. What? Oh my goodness me. 
He's looking really right, so I'm going to go right. 76% pass. No way is it that high. My dribble's been good. I mean, as you guys can see, completely dominant. 54% possession. It's not dominant, but five shots to two. What? I read that. Oh, that's beautiful. 3-2, back in it. Oh, that's not the best challenge ever. We could be immediately leveling this... Oh, 3-3! I don't even know what I'm saying, but 3-3 three, three in a flash. The left back. Oh, it's not the left back. It's the left center mid. 4-3 in about seven in-game minutes. What a touch by Simon. And the goal, 5-3. What a touch by my opponent's Luca Bacchio? I was too busy reading the guy's name. I didn't even defend him. This looks different. All right, man of the match has got to be... Uh, that's not even my team. Man of the match has to be Di Maria, I think. Yep, Simon just behind me. That's definitely fitting. Simon was absolutely incredible. And there is confirmation of the 5-4 win. We get 2,100 coins for that, thanks to my coin boost. But you must just get more coins for games anyway, because the coin boost wasn't that massive. Definitely a deserved win, as you guys can see from the stats there. Would have been quite livid if I lost that one. Alright, and what happens here? So we get one out of three wins. 25 foot champions qualifications. So that's going to take a lot of wins at that pace. I assume once we get up a division, it will increase how much we get. Checkpoints. You reach a checkpoint. Checkpoints protect you from losing progress. Did it worry me actually sell? Nice. I've just noticed that there's two hours and 15 minutes left until the division rivals rewards. And we get a 4-0 win. And this is our third win. I really wasn't liking Ricardo Pereira, so I used my lone Trent for a game, even though it meant that I didn't get full chem. And, oh, he was so much better. Absolutely incredible. All right, weekly rewards. You qualify for weekly rewards. That's good, because they come out in about 40 minutes. So I need to win four games in 38 minutes to qualify for the next reward. So that probably means it's not worth playing them, right? So from those six games of Vision Rivals, where I got three wins, two draws, and a loss... Plus a couple of games are disconnected. That's why my players' uh, game stats look off. I can tell pace is somehow more important than it has been in previous papers, which is insane. I didn't even know it was possible because Genie Vinaldum was and Simon were my best players. Di Maria was also pretty good, but his balance. What's his balance? 76 balance. He just kept falling over. Like every time there was a challenge on him, he would stumble and stumble, and the, the challenge, the guy who made the challenge, would get back up and get the ball. So don't like Di Maria. But Vinaldum and Simon are really good. What does that tell me? High rated and like good solid plays are good. And pace is the only thing that matters once again. <laughs> Alright, so Ricardo Pereira sold. As you can see, I've only got 3k. That's because I did make a purchase. I decided to buy Trent before the rewards come out. Because I think I think when rewards come out, more people are going to have more coins. And they're going to go out and buy people. So I think that the, the first few times rewards come out, prices will actually go up. Uh, and 17.5k for Trent. I mean, he might go down a little bit. But I mean... Trent, 17.5k for an 87 rated card that I really, really want to use. I mean, that's a good buy. Vision 10 weekly reward. We get a small mixed players pack, 250 coins, and 50 qualification points. Somehow, that was the best option of three. I went with this option because it would give me the most coins. Because uh, even if we get nothing here, uh, they quick sell for more than what the uh, other options did because those are untradeable. So, no war cap, but it is a 60 rated Hoffman with 32 pace. Not gonna lie, I was really expecting a gold card to pop up. Oh. And on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Quick Guide to FIFA 22. If you did, please do like, helps a lot. If you want to see more videos in this series, then please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.